Hey guys, it's Brittany again with NGN. We are here at the HTC Vive setup at the West Hall. I'm Ryan Hoopengarner, the Director of Marketing for HTC Vive. Uh, we're here at E3 in the lobby trying to show somebody some unique experiences that the Vive really brings to market. So where we are right now kind of educating people about what VR has to offer, uh, we've put up a, a green screen booth that shows off mixed reality, which is something where you can see both the person wearing the headset, holding the controllers, but you can also see the virtual world around them. So we're always trying to come up with new ways to show people what VR is all about without having to get the headset on them. No, it's really cool. Like I'm already setting up a place in my living room for it. So can you tell us a little bit about the room scale tracking in the chaperone system? Yeah, absolutely. So we have the chaperone system, which throws up a grid across the room when you approach the boundaries. And so even when you're in VR, uh, you can see where the boundaries of the room are. So you don't need to worry about running into something or what you might bump into. Uh, and then the front facing camera actually pulls through real world elements. So as you approach that grid, you can bring the real world into view as well. It allows people to feel more comfortable in their space. And this is really important because rather than being a primarily standing experience, it incorporates 15 feet by 15 feet or up to that. So you're not really bound to just that standing or seated experience. You can really get up, walk around, and become immersed in that virtual world. It's also I won't run into a chair or run over my dog or anything when I'm in this world. Exactly, yeah. nothing like that. But also, if someone just comes into the room to talk to you, it, it's a really awkward engagement if you're just like staring over here and talking to someone over here. So you can turn the camera on at will so that you can make a semblance of eye contact while someone comes to talk to you. Or in those kind of prolonged VR experiences, you might want to just like grab your drink, take a drink, find your keyboard since this is still a PC-based experience. You can do all of that without having to remove the HMD. So why are you partnering with NVIDIA? Right now, VR is really a story about educating a broad audience and NVIDIA has been with us every step of the way in that kind of education. With the introduction of things like the GTX 1070 and 1080, we could not be happier about kind of where the, the market is going and the broad adoption we're going to be able to achieve with those cards. I want one and I'm sure everyone watching wants one. So what's our first step? How do we go about buying? Is it pre-order right now? Do you have to have a high-powered PC? So right now, when it comes to what kind of PC you need to have, uh, the recommended spec is a GTX 970 or higher. Right now, we're also um, doing some early testing on the, the 1080, which of course is a, an amazing VR experience. So we're really excited for that to get out there. It's available right now. So as of last week, we're happy to announce that uh, we have 72 hour turnaround time for orders that are going through Vive.com. The wait is over, VR is here, and people can have it in their homes tomorrow. Well, thank you so much for meeting with us. I'm gonna go in and play some right now. So. Sounds good. Yeah, all right.